This video is going to be about creating a video story on the most updated version of Flippagram. So let's open it up and get started. Now it automatically brings you to Flippagram's main feed. So you want to press the plus sign in the red circle at the bottom. And this will bring up all of the videos that are on your camera roll. So my little plan for this fun video is to select uh, one of the dances I'm working on for some of the kids I coach at a dance studio. This is for one of their recital dances we're preparing for and we're using a little ribbon. So I want to play my video at hyperspeed and then I want it to replay in reverse. So you can only select the video one time. So you can't select it twice here in order to have one forwards and one going in reverse. So I will show you later how to um, duplicate the video in order to have it in there twice. So before we hit next to go any further with our video story, we want to click on the scissors that are right at the bottom of the selected frame. That will pull your video up, up right away. And what I did is I just pressed on the video and that paused it for us right away so we don't have to watch it play out in front of us. We are also going to press where it says sound and turn the sound off during our editing. We can turn it back on again later. So at the very bottom of the phone screen, I want you to see where it says deselect. Deselect all would obviously delete your entire video. But here you have the opportunity to take out any frames that you want to take out from your video. So for example, in the beginning of my video, there's a couple seconds where I'm getting my hair out of my face and look like I'm thinking about what I'm going to do. So if I just press on those frames, they will be taken out of the video. And then my video will start right away with the dancing. So we're just going to pause that again. Now the speed that I'm going for is the fun super hyper speed of mayhem right at the top. So you can see that you can go faster or below normal. You can slow it down to have a slow motion video. So I will press mayhem at the top. It's going to convert my video into super speed. And let's pause it again. This is as far as we go in this editing space. So we are going to click done. And then we're going to click Next. Here I'm going to press the video to pause it once again so that it's not spinning around the whole entire time. On the very bottom, the bottom right, you see where it has Edit. That's where we're going to go next. So click on the Edit. And then within here, we are going to click on the scissors on the bottom of our frame. And once your video opens up here, you'll press it to pause it again. And it's not going to pause on us in this place in time, but in the far bottom left, you see where it says text, you can click that and add text on top of your video. We're not going to do that today, but you have the option of many different types of fonts. And by pressing on the circle, you have the option of many different colors. So we are just going to close that out, remove the text. Yes, we don't want it. You can crop your video. You can rotate your video. This is a fun one. You can rotate it to be upside down, which I think would make sure a super funny video challenge if you did something on the floor and then rotated your video to be upside down so it looks like you're doing it on the ceiling. So let's put this back the right way. Now here is where we get to add another video in order to have it play again where we can then edit it to put it in reverse and that's by clicking duplicate. So now that we've done that we can click done at the top and you'll see that I now have the video in my story twice. So now we want to click on the scissors in the second frame that we added. So in here, 
you don't see the speed and reverse options that we had when we originally selected the original video frame. So here we're going to select the scissors that are on the video square that's actually playing. So from here, you see where it says reverse, we're going to press that button and that is going to play the video in reverse. It's going to get it ready and then play it back for us. Now that's done, you can see me going backwards. But for this one, I'm going to click the speed again and I'm gonna have this version play a little slower than that. So we're gonna go fast, two times fast. So it's still going fast, but a little slower. Now, also in the bottom, you see the deselect frame. So if I wanna take the same frames out I took from the beginning, that's obviously gonna be at the end of this video because it played at the beginning of the one moving forward. So I will have to slide my frames all the way over in order to deselect the few frames that were at the beginning from the last one. Now we will click done here. Done. So next what we are going to do is done. And now we're going to do some more fun editing on this video here. I just clicked to pause it again. What we're gonna do is we're gonna draw on our video. We're gonna use the paintbrush option. If you press on that, there are a lot of uh, different ways and styles you can draw. For now, we're going to use the paintbrush and I'm going to select purple. And what I'm gonna do is just draw on my photo some curtains because Dancers love to dance on stage with curtains and we're just gonna color those in. I'm just doing this with my finger. You have a nice stylus that will make even better. And then what is a pretty little ballet dance without a bit of pink? So I'm gonna select the pink color and do a little bit of pink shading on top of my purple curtains. You're gonna see how cool this looks later. And I'm gonna show you how to use one of the other draw features. So by clicking on our paintbrush, all the way on the bottom you see the happy face. Press on that and that is going to bring up many, many emojis and fun things you can add. We are going to click on the rose here because what dancer doesn't love to get flowers? That's what you do, you give dancers flowers after their big show. So you just click on your video wherever you would like the flowers to be. And then we're going to select done. And now look at what happens. It's a fancy show. Everything is flashing and pulsating and it's just extra special with what Flippogram has done. Now beside the draw, we have effects. So we click on that, we're going to pause the video once again. Um, here are vibes you can add. These are different vibes which makes your video um, flash, pulsate. I'll turn the video back on again so you can see some of these effects. Would be making it even more crazy. We can show a lot of love here. We can twerk it. But because of the craziness with the curtains and the flowers and my hyper speed, we're actually gonna go with no vibe on this one. Then if we click on filters to the right, I will press the video to pause it again. You could see how you can change the coloring of your whole video. We're gonna go with Highland here because it has that nice pink shade that we're adding to the whole story. So done, and now my video is playing with all my little fancy effects, forwards and backwards. Now we are just about done everything we wanna do. 
So now it's time to turn the sound back on on our video. So we're going to select edit again from the bottom of this screen and we have to go press the scissors back on each frame again and press the volume button to turn the volume back on. Press done, open up the scissors on the next one, turn the volume back on, press done. Now when we press done here, we're gonna be able to preview our fun little story in its entirety. And there we go. Now we'll press next at the top and it is time to get ready to share our video story. If you tap where it says tap to add title, this is where you're going to add the title that is going to appear on top of your video as it displays in Flippagram's feed. I'm gonna call this one Dancing in Circles. And let's get the eye back in, in and press done. All the way down at the bottom, you see the square highlighted in red. This is where you can actually change what is going to be the thumbnail image that shows in the home feed as, as people grow, scroll through to look for different videos to watch. So let's say we're gonna select it to be this little move here. At the top where it says new post, we'll press on that. You have two choices. Post it out there for all of your followers to see or the one below hidden, only visible to those with the link. If you press that one, it's going to upload directly to your profile page and it will only be there visible to you or anyone else that you've sent a link to. And from there, you can also choose to save it to your camera roll. If you select the top option, visible to your followers, as soon as you press post, it is going to go directly into the feed. So we're not actually going to post or save this video because it was only for tutorial purposes and fun.